Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel and you're listening to Subhash Chandra. Temidaka is my channel which was launched with an intent to create a platform where we can learn piping design systematically. So I'll be posting more videos of all streams of piping which includes design, materials, stress analysis, supports and construction as well. So I kindly request you to subscribe to my channel if you are a new viewer and I'll guarantee you that you'll reap the benefits for sure. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Today's video is about what is the right time to take up a job in GCC. We all know that taking up a job is not an easiest task. That too, taking up a job in other country is not at all an easiest job. We need to have a qualification, knowledge, skill, experience and determination. Above all, we should also know when to take up this job, especially in other countries. So before getting into the video, let me tell you what is GCC is about. GCC, the full form of GCC is Gulf Cooperation Council, which is actually a political and economic union of Arab states established in 1981 between six countries in Gulf, which are United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Oman, Kuwait and Bahrain. These are the six countries that comes in GCC. Let me show you in the map where it is located. If you can open up a map and look at it, this is where it exactly comes. Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Bahrain, Qatar, United Arab Emirates and Oman. These are the six countries that belongs to GCC. So let's come back to the topic. So this is all about GCC. But what do you think that? Why do people go to GCC? Yes, people go to GCC because of two important reasons. One of the first reason is high wages. You will get a high salary that you can't get anywhere else in the world. And the second important reason is low tax. In fact, until few years ago, there were no tax at all. But right now, due to the economical condition, the tax have been put. That too, the taxes are very low. I can't say it is not even more than 5%, 5% or less than 5%. If this is the condition, who else don't go to GCC? Having said the two important reasons, if you look at the weather conditions and the climatic conditions of GCC, GCC is much hotter than any other part of the world. So why do Indians still prefer to go to GCC? There are some specific reasons, right? One of the important reasons is no restrictions for talents. Now you must be thinking, what all other countries are open for talents, then what is the difference between GCC and other countries? Let me tell you the difference. If you want to take up a job in USA or any other part of the western countries, you only have two options. Either you have to be an on-site engineer or an on-site professional through the companies that are in India or else you have to go to a country as a student and complete your graduation and then you can apply for a job. It's a very big process. But only in GCC it happens that you can apply a job through online and once you're through the interview you'll get a visa and you can go to GCC. And moreover all of the countries takes talents only who are graduated. But only in GCC it happens that they give opportunities also for non-graduated technicians. I think this is the best part of GCC. The second important reason is no need to learn local languages. Like in other countries like European countries or any other western countries you have to learn their local languages and you need to have proficiency in local languages otherwise you can't get a job. But only in GCC that they don't have a policy or they don't force you to learn their local language which is an Arabic. I think this reduces the lot of efforts that we had to put to learn a new language. And the third important reason is that many Indians live in GCC. You don't know the number of Indians who are living in GCC. But let me tell you that if you step out of your home, you can see at least more than 10 to 20 Indians. So you won't feel like being out of the country. And the next important reason is that English, Hindi, Malayalam, Tamil are the widely spoken languages in GCC. That's because of the number of Indian population. So as I said, you won't feel like being out of the country at all. And the next important reason is that 100% safety. These countries are 100% safe to live and also to lead a peaceful life. Having said about all the advantages, but still what is the right time to go to GCC? To understand that, we should understand one important thing. 
why gcc hires outsiders we should have an answer for this question only then you will be able to understand why you have to go to why people are going to gcc see gcc hires people from outside outside the country just because their population is low so because of which what is happening because of which there is a shortage of professionals because once the population is low definitely there will be a shortage of the number of working professionals so that is why they are not able to meet the huge gap between the demand and supply so to meet the huge gap between demand and supply and to build their country they are taking people from outside and we should remember that we are recruited to support their growth and to build their country so what are their expectations while hiring the people and what is their actual expectation for uh, taking the people inside their country they need freshers is that right no definitely not they are not looking for freshers because they do not have time to train or to teach somebody about anything so actually they are looking for a high skilled workers so that the skilled workers can come immediately and start delivering so this is what they are expecting so if you are a fresher you will really find a hard time finding an opportunity in gcc that's because they are not looking for freshers this is the fact so what is the kind of experience you need do you need 15 years of experience to go to gcc no definitely not so how much of actual experience is required to go to gcc at least 5 years of experience do you know why 5 years is so important because 5 years is a good amount of time to gain some knowledge to learn some skills and to gain some experience and to manifest yourself to what you wanted to become after 5 years or 10 years because this is the important stage in your life to set a right direction if you're not going to set a right direction eventually you will end up making mistakes but once you are making a mistake you will find very less opportunity in that situation so that is one of the reason why most freshers find hard time in getting a job and most importantly the one more thing you have to remember in mind is that every wrong decision will easily eat away 2 to 3 years of our life i think 2 to 3 years is not that someone can really afford to lose those times are really an important part of your life so be cautious so the wise decision is manifest yourself what you wanted to become in 5 years so that you can accordingly take some training and gain some experience this is a very important stage in your life you have to plan what you wanted to become you have to set a direction and take a proper course and take a proper training and gain some good experience once you are confident about your training knowledge and experience and the only thing that you have to do is apply and fly post your comments if you have anything to ask and thank you so much for listening to me and watching my videos If you like my video give me a like and share with your friends but it is not under compulsion you can only if you feel that this video needs to be liked and also you can subscribe to my channel that gives me a motivation to do more videos and better videos and I'll share more of my language we will grow together this is what I can contribute from my side I will meet you in another fantastic video until then bye from Subhash Chandra